Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to back up and restore your Android phone. So if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, just like it's right there in the address bar. Then search for the how to back up and restore your Android phone procedure. Okay, before you begin, you're going to need to root your phone if you haven't already done so and flash a custom recovery image. Um, this is a pretty easy process and it's really hard to kind of mess up your phone when you're just rooting um, and then doing a recovery image. The part that people get wary about is when they start flashing ROMs, radios, etc. Um, so don't worry too much about doing this far of the procedure without having a backup. Uh, the program that we use to flash your custom recovery image generally has a backup program in it to back up your current recovery image. So once you do that, you should have a backup of your recovery image. You should have the new custom recovery image. Then we're going to show you how to back up your phone within that recovery image so this way you can load ROMs and stuff going forward and always be able to get back to this part. Okay? So if you haven't already done so, uh, find your how to root procedure. We have links right there in uh, the paragraph. Do it and just stop right after you've flashed a custom recovery image. Don't go on to loading ROMs and stuff. Once you've done that, come back to here and we can continue. Okay, to get into recovery, first thing you need to do is turn off your phone. Um, there are different button combinations for each phone. The majority of phones, like the G1, the Dream, the My Touch, the Magic, and the Hero, if you hold down, turn up the phone and then hold down Home and Power, uh, it'll put you into recovery mode. With the Nexus One, these buttons don't work while the phone is off since they're touch sensitive, so we can't hold down Home, uh, it just won't accept it. Uh, so you need to hold down Power and Volume down. And once it gets to this bootloader screen, just wait a second. It's going to try to search for a file, which it doesn't find. And there it goes. Now you can use the up and down volume to select the recovery option and push power to select it. And the phone will boot into recovery. Okay, so once you're into recovery mode, um, you may have different options than what I have here. Uh, but for the most part, you will always have a backup option. Now it'll either say backup and restore like mine does, um, or it will say something like, uh, you know, NAND backup, NAND restore, etc. 